Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10. This is build 17711 was released yesterday Friday July 6th and uh, well there's a few little things in there. The first part is the install. I had problems installing it. It actually didn't install well and I had to uh, finally try three times. The third time it worked. So that was the first thing that happened. So I had some problems uh, and I'm not alone. Um, a, a friend of mine that uh, sometimes you guys can see in the chat room uh, calls himself Fastload has a um, Surface uh, tablet and uh, it actually crashed his Surface tablet. He had to recover in order to install. So uh, there seems to be some problems with this one. Um, my first experience on the three tries is the first one it actually stalled at 88% and didn't do anything anymore. Which actually made me restart the PC and try for a Windows update again, which it reinstalled. Um, that one actually gave me a green screen. It actually had a problem. So when it uh, I restarted, I tried the third time. Third time it went through without any glitch. So figures you know it's one of those weird things so what else is there anything good in here well uh there's a few little improvements first of all uh learning tools get richer so for example uh in reading view there are new themes so if you are going to use microsoft edge of course one of the features that's been there for a long time is reading view and um so let's take any for example any article here I'm going to go to an article from Paul Tarot. Uh, let's, let's take his article about the good, the bad, and the ugly of Windows 10. Now, when you go to an article, of course, one of the things that you can do is have what's called reading view. Reading view appears as um, on the upper right corner. When this will light up at some point, it is there to kind of give you the possibility to go into reading view, which it doesn't seem to want to. Here we go. So you click reading view and it removes all the unnecessary th uh, things from the article that you don't need. Now notice that this is kind of yellow. Well, that's one of the first things that you'll notice. When you actually click, there are options. There's a toolbar in here and there's a different things that you can do. One of the things is page teams. They've actually improved that. So page teams now lets you choose a background color when you read your articles which is kind of nice. So now you have the choice of colors. I like that. Uh, it actually makes it, you know, I'm, I'm a big, big, big user of and a big fan of reading view uh, because it is one of the things that makes it easy to read um, in anything, any article. And, you know, it just removes all the clutter and all the things that's not necessary, which is really, really nice. So uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I think that's kind of nice, you know, to add that. Also, they uh, improved focus reading. So what's focus reading? You know, if you have a little bit of difficulty sometimes reading because you are focusing on too much information at the same time, you can actually go on the reading preferences here and choose line focus. And now you've got choices on um, what you want to uh, do so you can uh, put it one line at a time three lines at a time or five lines at a time which means when you read the article you actually are going through that um, information and you read really really what is necessary or where you are so you you know it's kind of you don't lose basically where you are in that article so these are a few little things that are kind of nice and um, it's I think it's pretty cool there's a new con consent box when um, auto saving or saving autofill data, by the way. So let Microsoft, it will actually ask you if you um, want to save the information uh, stuff that you are um, actually in the browser. You know, it, it always asks you if you want to uh, save data, for example, a password and so, so on. They kind of redesigned that little dialog box about saving data. Uh, PDF toolbar improvements. So if you like reading PDFs, uh, so for example, I'll 
click this PDF. Uh, the PDF toolbar can now be invoked by just hovering at the top to make the tools easily available to the users. So when you were in a PDF, um, sometimes you know you would actually need to click on the page to bring the uh, the PDF toolbar. But if you hover now on the top, you see it also shows up. Whoops. So it also shows up here at the top. So you can easily see it by hovering, not just by clicking in the um, toolbar. So Fluent Design updates, uh, kind of nice. Not everybody have, has them. I got them. Uh, when you go to Microsoft Edge, for example, and you right click a menu, there's now a little um, shadow in the menus. So here in the corners, I don't know if you can, guys can see it, but there's a shadow underneath the, the box that appears. So that means that, you know, when you're on doing something, it kind of puts this 3D visual. It's, um, you know, another uh, evolution of Fluent Design, which is uh, giving the depth of field information. So um, if you have these menus, you'll see that there's a little shadow behind it, trying to make it more like a 3D effect. So this is in the Fluent Design updates, which is kind of nice. There's uh, display improvements. If you go to your display settings, uh, you will see that there is a new um, HD capable, well, you'll see here. So we go into system. So there's a Windows HD color page under the system and the display settings. So when you go to the display settings, choose your display. So there's something called Windows HD color settings. When you click here, you will invoke the information from a display. So it's going to tell you, is that an iDynamic range display or not? Um, can it or not? What are the display's um, capabilities? It actually will tell you all the information needed. So the more your display is comp can, can do things, the better it will actually have its, um, its settings here. You'll have more and more information about what it is capable of doing. Registry improvements. They haven't done registry um, improvements in a little while. So when you go to the registry, um, whoops, I'm just going to go back here. That's not what I wanted. Uh, reg edit. So if you go to the registry editor. So one of the things that was greatly improved in the registry editor was the fact that now you have all the information of where you are in one of those places. But one of the problems that was also there is the fact that when you are actually going to these and writing, sometimes you don't remember what's the, you know, um, what's the, the, the next field that you have to put here. So you'll, you know, start typing what you want to do and you'll, you know, stumble upon what is the next, what is the next field. So um, here I don't have it, but some of you do you will see that it auto completes a list of what um, what's next, what what choice you have next to that. So it's kind of nice to see that. And um, it it really, really uh, is a great, great thing. So um, you will now, you know, kind of have a better view of what possibility you have uh, when you actually write uh, your own uh, registry uh, key, um, you know, uh, sub keys and so on, where you are at exactly and what's next. So that's pretty much what we have. So apart from the problems with the install, works great. I haven't had any glitches, worked, uh, used it a few hours last night. Um, it was working all night. I left it on because I wanted to make sure everything is okay. Worked for a few hours this morning. Uh, it seems to be okay, but uh, there are a lot of glitches in there. Um, they did some bug fixes, of course, but there's a lot of, you know, uh, problems, lots of bugs in different fields, including bugs with, um, you know, game bar, with narrator, with, uh, with general usability. It is an insider preview after all. But uh, for me, it works fine, and that's the important thing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, let me know how it went with your install of Build 17711 of Redstone 5. Thank you for watching our videos.